don't fuck. I don't use these barbaric mouth breathing weapons. Get out of here. I see you thinking. You're thinking like, where have you been for the last couple of months? Like, what? You're not reviewing these chapters anymore? Did you like let your YouTube channel die out? And the answer is no, absolutely not. And the reason for my uh, not being here has a combination of several reasons, which little by little are getting resolved. But don't worry about that. This year, 2022, I have every intention, and I really mean that, I'm going to put in way more effort to make sure I at least upload regularly. 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 Excuse my English. It's only my third language, okay? But whatever. My point being, this year, we're going to do it right, okay? Every month, every chapter, everything to cover, I'm going to be here. Now, I know you're looking at this thing right here, right? Am I pointing the right way? I'm pointing the wrong way. <laughs> I'm getting used to this again, okay? Excuse me. That way, okay, you know, the, the chapter 79, I know that's last month's chapter, but I'm going to just quickly speed run it because it's a two-parter, okay? It's gas and granola, and this, well, today's chapter, which is this month's chapter, is gas and granola part two. So I'm going to just speed run that one real quick so we can, like, get into the mood. And then we're going to, like, live react to the new chapter. So without further ado, welcome back. Glad you made it. And let's read some Dragon Ball Super, shall we? So, yeah, gas and granola. I'm not going to do all the panels, by the way. I mean, not this one, at least. I'm going to just get to the main points real quick so we can, like, get on with the new stuff. So they're like, okay, scheming, scheming, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. Heck if I know. Gives him the sense of being. Oh, my God. It's incredible. Look at me. I'm all stronger and faster again. Boom. Knock those nobodies out because they're just not the fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just there to, like, be a unit. It's cool. Whatever. Okay. Gas is there just not stabbing Goku for some reason. Like, if you can stab the shirt, you're going to fucking stab the chest and just kill him. But whatever, okay, so, okay, he's surprised, he's all like, how are you healed? And then, yeah, Granola, maybe, like, fight with the thingy on, like, the eye patch that is connected to the earpiece or something that is that other partner you have. What is it called, like, oatmeal or something? Yeah, here we go, oatmeal. He's all like, okay, so we're back to OG form, right? Like, with the thing on, he's all like, yeah, let's do what we're supposed to do. The other eye also transforms into the sniper eye. Not sure what that means, actually, but whatever, doing the classic Dragon Ball pose, I mean, it doesn't get more iconic than this one, okay? It's literally the, yeah. let's go, rock and roll. So he's all like, oh yeah, Vegeta's all like, hmm, he'll totally do it. By the way, I know I've missed those chapters, or at least on the channel, dude, Vegeta's ultra ego, like, form. Mixed feelings, mixed feelings. I mean, I'm all for, like, Goku and Vegeta getting different forms so that you don't compare them to each other anymore. Like, is Ultra Instinct better than Ultra Ego? We don't know. It's a different form of strength. And it plays into their strengths. So, I like that. I really like that. But the no eyebrows, I don't get why. You know, like, Super Saiyan 3 had the no eyebrows because it was going, it kind of was going to that primal look. The ape thing. So it's like, you know, that was kind of the whole point of that. Even though Super Saiyan 4 brought it back, but that's not canon. Not even getting into that right now. Okay, I'm just saying, like, we've seen Toppo in the Tournament of Power go basically God of Destruction mode, right? Which is, I guess, what Ultra Ego technically also is. I mean, in a way, right? And it's like, why? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. It's, it's, it has, it has good and bad qualities. I'm just saying like, but I needed to address that of all the things that I didn't talk about on this channel, the ultra ego transformation, transformation that he literally pulled out of his ass. Like he just became that. Okay. He never prior to that fight transformed into it. He wasn't familiar with the form or at least that was never to that extent actually 
explained or made us believe that Vegeta even knew about it, but somehow he does have a name for it, which is just hilarious. He just called it Ultra Ego, but nobody actually... Like, Goku never called Ultra Instinct Ultra Instinct until the Gods of Destructions among angels and others told him it is Ultra Instinct. He didn't know the name. He didn't name it himself either. They just told him, like, that's what it is that you just did. But Vegeta kind of looked like he pulled that name out of his own ass, so... I mean, I... Do you, man. Do you, Vegeta. I'm just saying, man. I mean, I'm, I share your hairline, you know, like... But the naming... It's, it's not even the worst thing. I'm just saying. Enough distractions. Let's speed run the rest of it because we already know what's going on. Granola fighting gas and it's all like granola's like, haha, I'm gonna fight you, and gas is all like, you know, I just messed you up, right? You really wanna do this again? And he's all like, okay, sure. So they fight, okay, cool, and then I mean really, it's like he just summons like weapons and armor and whatever. I don't really get his power, but it's it's not interesting or exciting in any way. It's kinda like Meh, seen it before, just saying. I mean, Granola at least because he's literally, a, he's a shooter. You know, he's a, a, a long distance fighter. You know, he uses long ranged attacks. He's literally the sniper guy. So he, at least he has more of a, uh, well, I guess more of a profile to him. Like he has a direction to go in, at, whereas Gas is like, whatever you need me to be, really. But okay, so they're fighting again and it's all like, you know, on paper... Uh, Gas is definitely supposed to win because he made the wish, allegedly, after Granola. You you technically don't know what he wished for. You actually never see them do the wish. But considering that he suddenly grew up, you know, he became, he, he got a more mature body, which is indirectly what also happened to Granola, where he, like, his hair got really long. Because you age so much in exchange for getting the power. You give up so much of your lifespan or something. It's cool. You know, it's it's not the craziest thing. I mean, it's it's decent. You know, at, at least there was a price to pay. Instead of magically like, now you're the strongest. Stronger than Jiren, Broly, uh, anyone. Goku, Ultra Instinct, Beerus. It doesn't matter. Apparently, because the dragon just magically poofed you. Into the strongest person in the universe. Don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't really care. And I highly doubt it's really true. But maybe we'll get into that later. Yeah, okay, cool. Whatever. Nobody really cares. He even, like, flexes on gas, okay? He flexes on him. Like, not only did I stop all your knives, okay? I just caught them all. Like, oh, these? And, like... You don't even, like, flashy, like, throw them back with some energy because, again, he's the long-range guy, right? He could, like, do some sniper shots with the kunai knives, but he doesn't. He's all like, I don't fuck, I don't use these barbaric mouth-breathing weapons. Get out of here. These tricks won't work on me anymore. So, okay, so, ha, blah, 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 okay, cool, 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 cool. I mean, they make, like, comments, they're fighting. But because I like it, it kind of looks like as you're again, you're thinking gas is supposed to steamroll granola, or at least, you know, he's supposed to be stronger. So he beats him. That's what should happen according to the alleged wish being made to the dragon. But somehow it looks like granola is winning, and they don't really explain why. But they're like getting to it. Like actually, um, if you think about it, it's about blah 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 blah. I'm like, whatever, Let, let's just not poke too many holes in it because it makes no sense. Um, okay, the gap between them is evident. This is Granola's chance. But why is Gas sticking to just that one move using those strange weapons? Hard to say. Perhaps he gained that ability from the wish to become the strongest. Nah, apparently he just always does that. That's like his main thing. Fucking Fuma Shurikens. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, cool. It's... It's... It became apparent, right, that Gas apparently doesn't want to use the powers that he got from the dragon because he was, like, so dead set on the fact that he could beat Granola without the power of the dragon. 
And I think that's what's going to happen in this week's chapter, or at least this month's chapter, right? Where he's going to actually unleash the power that was given to him. But that just makes this so much worse, because Gas is putting up too much of a fight to Granola, who is using the power he got from the Wish to be the strongest in the universe. You know what I mean? So if he's truly fighting without actually using the power that he got from the Wish, Gas is putting up almost un unrealistically too much of a fight up against that. Oh, here we go. It ain't that Gas can wield his newfound power the right way. He just doesn't want to. Because he's, like, really stubborn, you know? Because he's dead set on the fact that he can do it without it. And then you get this typical Dragon Ball move where, like, oh, let me just block this shit with my aura and then just key blast you point blank. That's a Dragon Ball move right there if I've ever seen one, right? But, you know, and then he's all like, ah, god damn it. You made me use the fucking power of the dragon, which I don't even, well, what do we even call that, right? Because it's like, you, you unlock like a whole new skill tree or something, and <laughs> you just decided to not use it. But anyways, I consider this a failure of my part. I had hoped to kill you with the technique I've owned. I've honed. Honed. Damn, again. Excuse my English. Um, okay, so he's all like, you know what? Cool, all that ability that you gained, I have as well, because, again, see, they keep making references for you to assume he made the exact same wish, but technically you don't know for sure because you never saw it. So they can still kind of pull a rabbit out of their ass and go like, actually, we wished for something a little bit different, and then... Go their own way with that. Not saying they will. I'm just saying they can, and I really hope they won't. So okay, and this see, this also this also pissed me off, right? Because apparently he used Hakai, right? Destruction, and I'm like, that that shouldn't be a thing. Okay, I'm sorry, that should not be a thing. That's you don't get to use that. That is not something that fucking Granola gained with the wish. That is something Vegeta gained by fucking training with the God of Destruction. Specifically to get that specific technique. You don't get to pull that out of your ass now. But, you know, whatever. Dragon Ball, right? I never thought taking you down would actually be that easy. See, this is a little surprising, right? Because I'm like... I'm sorry, what now? Like, what? where, where does this confidence come from? Because... For as far as we can tell, he's getting pretty much beaten right now. Now that Gas has decided to use this strength, he's really not winning at all. But somehow Granola is really arrogant and almost justif justifiably so. Which is weird. Because I don't get that. Like, right? And then it's like, ah, ha, Psych got you. And then he used the power, like the energy beams, the Dragon Ball techniques, I guess. You could call them. And he's all like, that's not good enough. And then, choom, choom, choom. The super fast stuff. Choom, choom, choom. And then they're apparently, they're actually both using, like, instant transmission. Like, super fast. But at the same time, somehow, Granola is using it more effectively than gas. Which, sure, whatever. Like, like it's no big deal. No. Take a closer look. Gas still isn't familiar with that move. He boasts speed and power, yes, but I've never seen... Uh, okay, whatever. So, <laughs> you're right. If nothing else, Granola wields it more accurately. He still stands a chance. Again, he's looking way too cocky. He's looking like he's in trouble, even though this makes absolutely no sense. All right, so part two of the fight, you know, uh, Gas is a little pissed, so he's going to just go basically semi-perfect cell and just like, nope, going all out, going crazy. I'll figure out that move soon enough. And he's kind of getting a little bit too rage crazy and almost... Is he going to get buffed or something? Nope. No, he's still like skinny tall, but okay. Give it time. He's probably going to do something weird. Eye lasers. I'm going to have to assume that that's another Dragon Ball Wish power. And still somehow Granola has absolutely no trouble dodging that. And he's like, take this power kick. Falcon kick. Or I don't know. Whatever. And he misses, again, because Granola is, like, super well-known with the instant teleportation. Just fine, whatever, right? 
And he, I mean, he's just knocking him around way too much, actually. Gas might be stronger, but he's losing in the skill department. Dang, guess those Dragon Balls ain't all that after all. Hang on. Gas won't let it end like this. I can't imagine it would. It would be kind of weird if they did. This is a nice shot, mind you. Like, this is just nice artwork. Makes no sense in the fight itself, because why would you both... Long kick, like whatever. It doesn't matter, but it, it looks nice. It looks nice. Anyways, I can now track your every move. <laughs> okay, so apparently he wasted too much time, which is make him like actually get accustomed to everything. I won't lose sight of you again, won't you though? Oh damn, he just double teamed on your ass. Is that an after image or is that like an actual? Because you never know. Okay, granola can have a whole shit ton of techniques up his sleeve okay there's three of them we're continuing the naruto thingy like kage bunshin sure then again dragon ball did it first so ha um okay let's see here so i, I have to assume that because you split up according to the dragon ball logic because tn did it first just saying an original dragon ball you also split up your power between them so it's only like one fourth of a power if there's four of you, which I mean, I'm counting four here, and there's only three here, but then there's a whole bunch of here, so you don't really know. It's it's weird. Relax, Granola still has the skills to win this thing. You would think that, but then oh snap, he got caught by surprise, and then Gas just bam shots them all out like it's go on Super Saiyan two versus the Cell Juniors, just one shots the clones, making clones split your power. How see? Told you, told you, literally called it. I remember Dragon Ball lore. Don't even try me, bro. This last move of yours was all or nothing then. Well, really hope not. That's a really weak all or nothing move, but okay. So he's just gonna... Wow, he's just gonna kill fucking ten people at once or eight people? Like, is he only using... Nope. Ten people at once. You know, one for every finger. Oh, and it's like an energy sword thingy on some Vegito-style stuff. Okay. Wow, like, not even gonna blast him like that? Like... You got lost in the power of those skills, Granola. And then it's all like, oh, guess what? All ten of them are clones or fakes, whatever. And then he's about to do something crazy. Or I was just waiting for this perfect opening. He's about to finger blast you. Oh, snap. Like, shangus. Point blank super sniper shot. Whatever, he doesn't really call it anything, but I'm going to call it Super Sniper Shot. And he just shoots him, point blank. It doesn't penetrate him. No homo. I'm just saying, so it doesn't, like, it's not really a killer move. This could literally be any kind of energy blast. And this has never killed anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you either get completely enveloped by the energy blast, or it shoots right through you. But if it's neither of those two, an energy blast is never a killing move. Anyway, so he's underwater and, you know, not sure. What, oh, they, these two are going to chase Granola like they're going to actually do anything. Okay, but, I mean, gas, my bad. So Granola is pretty much spent. This is That was his last shot. This was basically the best he could do. Wait, what's wrong with Granola? Any damage taken by the clones is felt by his real body. That final plot was a sacrificial one. Granola, stay back. It's not over yet. Come on, stay with us. And then Gas is probably pissed off. What's wrong, Gas? This isn't like you. Elec. He's here too. Oh, this should be fun. Oh, we're about to get something weird. Oh, we're about to... Why is Gas getting his butt beat, Elec? You're sure you made that wish to turn him into the universe's strongest, right? Of course I did. Gas is undeniably the strongest fighter now. By a huge margin, in fact. And then he just takes off that shit, which is on some, like, what is that supposed to be? Like, on some Broly limiter removal thing or something? Like, oh, God, they're going to do something stupid, aren't they? What gives? No point in being the strongest in the universe when all that precious power is sealed away. I know you can withstand it now. So liberate that inner nature. You, you sure, man? This didn't turn out so hot 40 years ago. Gah. So anyways, he's doing the whole basically the Broly thing. Is that gas? Uh, also, 
I just realized everybody is spent. Like, there's no more sensu beans, and all three of these, Goku, Vegeta, and Granola, are spent. And if he just goes up to a way, way higher level, then, well, you're pretty much fucked. But, you know, it's Dragon Ball. They'll probably pull some miracle bullshit out of their ass, but whatever. I saw it with my own eyes 40 years ago. When Bardock had gas on the ropes, he lost himself and turned into that. He lost himself? So that's his last resort? And then it's all like, oh, I'm super berserker mode. And then, monster, berserker. You know, the most easiest bullshit thing to, to, whatever. All right, so, dude, seriously, it just did not look like Goku, like when he got wrecked by Broly. You know, when Goku was like Super Saiyan God and Broly just went ape shit crazy on him, pun intended. Like, it's they're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing. Come on, man. Give me something new, man. Don't, don't do the same. What the hell is happening with him? Is this like electricity or something crazy? I'm like, oh, you're getting wrecked, though, bro. Granola. You're about to die, dude. I don't think you can actually survive too many of these hits, bro. I mean, you just got wrecked right through the planet or something, like. See, I can only assume that either one, they pull another miracle bullshit out of their ass, or two, um, gas is going to lose control of this power to the point of self-destruction, you know what I mean? Like, burn through too much of his energy and then leave him incapacitated or something weird, like, you know what I mean? Because I have to assume that that's the reason that, you know, Bardock beat him back in the day, because by all intents and purposes, like, there is no way Bardock should be able to beat Gas, even if it was 40 years ago, right? Like, it makes no sense. Especially if he did, like, the crazy berserker thing. I have to assume that he can't control himself to the point where he is actually become self-destructive. How in the world did Bardock defeat Gas when he was like that? I was unconscious. I didn't see. <sighs> Yo, Gas. Destroying stuff is great and all, but don't let the urge take over. Come back to your senses. Yeah, it doesn't really look like... Oh, oh. Oh, he about to fuck you all up. Oh, this should be fun. What's he doing? He's just smacking his face into a rock. Is he smacking himself in the hopes that he actually, like, wakes up or something? Nope. He's lost his freaking mind. What now, Elac? Huh? Gas is gonna wreck himself. It's... Fine. The universe's strongest warrior should have greater control over his own power than any other. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're just going to. Oh, by the way, didn't forget about you guys. Just going to get wrecked real quick. Like, why Vegeta? Though? <laughs> like, fuck you specifically. Like, just you, you know. Like, oh, oh, wow. He just got wrecked and then just smacked into the thing. You would think like, oh, one hit each, right? Like, no, no, no. It's fuck you, Vegeta. You specifically, again, you specifically, fuck you, Vegeta. Just saying. Like, so he's wrecking him, wrecking him. Goku tries to stop him in base form, mind you. I'm not even going to get into this. And then he all of a sudden gets a flashback from Bardock. Um, yeah, I, this, I hope that this is a style of art they're going for because so help me God, Kami fucking beer, I don't care if they pull a bullshit thing out of their ass where Bardock was somehow in ultra instinct back in the day. Man, I want to say I quit, but I won't. But I'm just saying, like, okay, at least here it doesn't look like he has. Because this really looks like some Ultra Instinct. I'm just saying. Like, the, the way the hair goes up just a little bit, but not all the way with the thing. And then here it looks basic again. So, thank Kami for that. All right, so he was fighting him like crazy. And then for some, I mean, this has to be Tiny Berserker. Like gas right like tiny berserker gas because this is the memory from bardock and he gets hit by something and for some reason he's getting traumatized by this because 
Mind you, Goku didn't actually punch him away like that. He just got shocked by it or something, by his memories or something. Oh, something is happening. He is, he's losing his actual mind right now. Go on, Gas. Remember, you swore to never lose again, right? Oh, God. There we go. He's going to go a little slimmer, but then be in control. Basically like Kale in the Tournament of Power, you know, who is technically female Broly. Just saying. And then it's all like, oh, this is my Berserker, but kind of in control mode. And then he just, I don't know, clothes being this shit. He gets his clothes back, but now he has the crazy horn thingies onto the side of his face. And this is his in control mode, I guess. His, his little power up, instead of hair growing or aura changing or whatever, he literally gets horns out of the side of his head downwards. Because, you know, let's do something new at least. Yes, there you go. It looks like he's had some kind of awakening. My little brother is the strongest in the universe for real now. Go on, Gas. Annihilate those who stand in our way. Now, I don't know if he's nodding upwards like, yeah, sure. Or like, yeah, you're in my way and I might also kill you. You don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Super Manga, pull shit out of their ass whenever they feel like it, because that's kind of what the franchise has been doing for a while. But hey, we love it. Hater will love it. We love it. Otherwise, why are you even here, right? Come on. We know what they do. They're going to do something cray-cray. At least I know now that this can't end with gas going self-destructive because he just control his power like that right because why not and uh well i guess they have to pull i mean dude again granola has spent right because like vegeta said all the damage that was done to the clones kind of gets transferred back to the main body all of the bodies got fucking penetrated, like, impaled by energy sword things, okay? So that's, like, a shit ton of damage, okay? Uh, Goku and Vegeta were already completely wrecked by Granola, and now Vegeta even more so, because... So anyways, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have Gas versus Granola Part 3. Although I'm not so sure if it's Gas and Granola anymore, as in Gas versus everyone, because they're going to have to make this a three versus one fight. And even then, there is no way in hell they're winning this, okay? This is not the Tournament of Power where they can, like, freeze an Android 17 and Goku can, like, use tactics to out-of-bounds Jiren or something. This is like, you either win or you die. We're on a planet that you can probably blow the fuck up if you had to. Don't do that. Let, don't pull the freezer. Okay, just saying. But like, how, how is this going to end? I mean, really, like, is it going to be a, a miracle spirit bomb? I sure shit hope not. Is it going to be a, I just awoken an, a, a level beyond Ultra Instinct mastered because the plot required me to? Is Vegeta's Ultra Ego suddenly even stronger when he is this close to just being completely wrecked again is granola secretly having another power of transformation something that we don't know about are they gonna do a fusion maybe we don't know but i guess there's only one way to find out and that is next time on dragon ball super manga and i will be here to review on the i'm assuming 20th of february assuming it doesn't fall in the weekend, I'm pretty sure if it does, then I'll be uploading it on the Friday before it because they always, like, release the chapter before the weekend if it falls on the weekend, as far as I remember. Anyways, that doesn't matter. What did you think about this chapter and this whole arc up until this point? Because there's a lot of weird things happening and honestly i can give as much as my opinion but i also love to hear everybody else's just to see if i'm just being a salty guy or i'm justifiably being critical about it anyways it's been fun and don't forget to like share subscribe do the whole thing it's youtube you know what to do okay have fun have a great day i guess 
I mean, you know, it's 2022. Let's do it differently. Let's do it better. Let's do it faster, stronger. Let's just have fun. Even more fun. All the fun. We're going to have all the fun on this channel this year forever.